Good everyone, my name is Graphix. Today we want to study another exercise on development where we will be developing this shape here. Right? Now when you are given the shape, let's zoom it so you see what I'm talking about. When you are given a shape like this, the first thing you first of all draw is the plan of it, right? You start with what diameter because this guy here is I'll call it a diameter here. So you start by drawing the plan of it. So if I'm doing that, first thing I'll do is to draw is to draw my horizontal line this way. Can see that? And also my vertical line this way. Now, in doing that, I'm going to draw the radius of what? Thirty two, right? So, radius of half of 32 is 16. So, radius of 16 will give me a diameter of what? 32. So, I'm going to take my compass where I'm going to measure um, 16 on top of it. So, from 1 to here is 16. So, I'll place it here. At this point, where they meet, I'm going to draw the circle of what diameter. Am I even taking it also? I want to, right? I'll draw it this way. Now, I'm going to project this upward. I'll project it upward with my square you can see that and I also project this upward to this way now in doing that I'll get a demarcation here as in a boundary here or I'll call it a point here I'll just draw here this way front line all good so this is a point my reference point where i will start from now what do you notice the height of my figure here is what 35 so i'm going to measure 35 with my metal rule i my easily place it starting from one one is my zero and i will move to 35 here so I'll come on this point and I'm going to mark up here. That is my height, 35 here. So in doing that, I'll take in that point. I'll take in the point. You can see that? And um, after doing that, you discover that this is another, this point here, is this point here. So I'll just use my T square, I'll draw an horizontal line also from this point to meet at this point here. So from that top, if you notice, let me show you what I'm trying to, from that top here, from here to here is 13 and this is the reference point here so this point here i measure 13 downward so which is here i'm going to measure 13 downward so in doing that from 22 here to 23 is 10 then 11 12 13 are we good that is where we are that is 13 so i will now draw my line this inclined line here I'll draw it 
from this point to this point. Right? Now the next one I'll do is from the same reference point here, which is this reference point, I'll measure 25. So I'm going to measure 25. From 21 to what? 25. So measure the 25. Starting from this point. 13. 10, 20, 25. So this point here is 25. And I'm going to thicken it to a meter that point 25. Alright, so that is the first stage. I've successfully done this right from here to here and here. Now, the next thing is this arc. So, my meter rule I'm going to measure the radius of wall 35. I'll start from 10, 10 making my zero. So, I'll go to 35 here. You can see that from 10 to 13.5 is 35. So, I'll place it at this point here. Right, this point here, place it there, and I'll strike an arc like this, and I'll place it here also at the second point here. I'll strike another arc, faint line. So, where they meet at this point, I'm going to draw an arc to connect both of them with the same radius. I have to adjust it. I don't know how to connect this to this way. This is what we have. You can see that? So I've brought out the shape. Now the next thing I'll do is to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So how will I do that? I can easily take my compass with the radius of this circle, right? I'm going to cut up right and I'll place it at this point too. I'm going to cut up. I'll place it at the center here. I'm going to cut left and what and right. So all those points I will go to pass them through the center of the circle. So if I place it here, I'll draw my line that will pass to the center to this point. I'll place it here also. I'll draw my line. The pass to the center here also. I'll place it here. I'll draw my line. The pass to the center also. I'll place it here. I'll draw my line. All in faint line. The pass to the circle here also. Are we good? So from here, this will be zero. This will be 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, this will be 4, this will be 5, and this will be what? 6. Here it will be what? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now, I will want to project my point upward. So let me zoom this a little bit. Right? So we want to project our point upward. Now, in doing that, all these points here, I'm going to project it with the help of my T square. The help of my T square and C square, right? I'll project all those points upward. So, from one also, from here, I'll use my, I'll project it up. Alright, from the next one also. I'll project it up on the next one also. I'll project it up on the next one also. I'll project it up. Now I've done that, right? So from this baseline here, I'll draw my horizontal line this way. You can see that and um, I'll take any distance between this main diagram and this any distance of a choice I cannot decide to just take here at least not to be too far from the figure 
right i'm taking this point here so that point i'm taking will be my point zero so i'm going to use the radius of either zero and one or one and two any of the two and i'll place it at this point this will be zero this will be point one point two point three point four point five point six going down five four three two one back to zero so this is zero one two three four five six five four three two one zero now similarly i'm going to extend this i will stop at zero this zero point here i will extend that and i will extend this this i'm talking about this to stop here you can see that so i'll start moving all those points upward so from here from zero i will take it up to be easier when you use your T square and your C square simultaneously, so I'll move it to the next point. Right, I will extend it. Move it to the next point. I will extend it. Move it to the next point. I will extend it. Move it to the next point. I will extend it. Move it to the next point. I will extend it to the next point. I'll 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 extend it. Now, after doing that, all these points here you see, I'm going to project them to this last point. So let's say this is my point zero, point one, point two, point three, point four, point five, and what? Point six. I will extend them here. So let's do that and see. So from zero, I'm going to take this to that point. All right? Four points. This one too. I'm going to take it to the next one. The next one also. I'll do the same thing. The next one. I'll do the same thing. The next one. I'll do the same thing. The next one. I'll do the same thing and we'll go to the up, up one two do the same thing here from here i'll come down here from here i'll come down here from here i'll do the same thing come down from here i'll come down from here i'll come down and here i'll come down so this is what i'm going to be doing so the keyword is let me start from here this is zero line zero mid zero this is zero here right this is zero zero mid zero here you can see that then if you come again this is one one we meet one two are we good this is line one coming here so it's a meet line one here then this is line two line two is moving we meet line two here right then similarly line three we meet line two here how good line four we meet line 4 here 
line 5 we meet line 5 here line 6 is meeting line 6 here so the process continue like that again so 5 and 5 on the same point 4 and 4 on the same point 3 and 3 on the same point right this is 3 and 3 here 2 and 2 also here 1 and 1 here then 0 and 0 here at the same point now doing that we move to the next point here also uh, this is point zero. Zero is coming this is zero zero is meeting zero here this is one one is meeting one here this is two two is meeting two here this is three three is meeting three here this is four four is meeting four here five five is meeting five here then six is meeting six here now the same thing happens these two and these two on the same points right then this and this five and five four and four on the same point also three and three on the same point two and two on the same point because these two here one and one on the same point then zero so i'm going to use my french curve and join all this together and this is what i'm going to do so here's my french curve i'm going to join all these points take minimum point coming together should be three so i take this i will have this this way right then i might turn it i'll just do here also please take three points here again i can come here and do the same thing here just do that and do the same thing here too Now see that then the next thing will be for this down one here and let's take this this way you see right i can also i'll do the same thing here then with the help of this Let's do this. And come here also. Let's do this. Right? So in doing that, you can now just um, close it up. Also close it up. So this is what we're actually having and in practical life we can also apply this let's see now look at this let's assume this is my figure here right i want to cut out the shape from this figure here and this is what i'm going to be having so if i have something like this using my t square right i'm breaking it cutting it away it says from here to here is a um, let me just draw this this way. Mm -hmm. Then pull it down, straight down here. Straight down here. Then the next one should be um, projecting your line 35. Probably you place it here and you cut. So let me see. We have something like this. Let me use this this way. So 
So I want to cut out the shape here. So let me just cut it out. And when you cut, you will be having the shape. Now if you look at this shape very well, it is this shape that we have here. Hmm? That is we have here. So if I open it, you can see that is what we have. So if this video has been helpful to you, please don't forget to what? To click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.